All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to solve for probability with standard normal distribution on the graphics calculator. And with the graphics calculator, which one I'm talking about is this one right here, Casio FX9750 G2. So I'll be using this one to demonstrate. Okay, so let's take a look. Suppose I say weights of some eggs are normally distributed with a mean weight of 66 grams and a standard deviation of 5 grams. All right, so what I need to know um, is the, uh, I got the mean, standard deviation, and my question is, what's the probability of an egg being between 68 and 70 grams? Okay, in terms of the graphics, I need to know four things. Those being my mean, which is 66, standard deviation, which in this case is 5, um, my lower value, which is 68 in this case, and my upper value, which is 70. Okay, now I still draw an X curve just to get an idea of what's going on for the uh, problem. Okay, so even with the graphics calculator, I draw my standard normal curve, bell curve, I draw the mean, and my two values of 68 and 70, and I, and I shade the part of the probability that I'm looking for, which is right there. So on the graphics, here's how, here's how I do it. Okay, first up, turn it on, and I'm going to scroll over to the stats menu press execute. I'm going to go over to distrib distribution, press F5, and then I go over to normal for normal distribution. Here I go to the second function. I think that stands for uh, normal continuous data until I get to this menu. And if, if it gives you the choice of list and variable, I want variable, which is already selected. And now I simply enter the data that I was talking about. My lower value is 68, so 68 for lower, execute. My upper value is 70, 70, execute. Sigma, right there, is my standard deviation, which was 5, execute. And mu, my mean, was 66, execute. And you execute one more time to solve for the probability. And not only does it give you the probability, which is right there, it also gives you the two z values, which these 68 and 70 would be. So my probability here to four decimal places would be 1327. So my probability would be 0 0.1327. And of course, that's the area under the curve. Now, the two z values are 0 0.4 and 0 0.8. So if I wanted to, these give me 0 0.4 as a z value and 0 0.8 right there, which I might need depending on what the problem is asking. But for the probability, that's it. Let's look at another problem. All right, with the same mean and standard deviation as the previous problem, find the probability of an egg being less than 71 grams. Okay, uh, let's just kind of take a look at the picture here. Less than 71 grams, draw my X curve. My mean is still 66, 71 is to the right of the mean, somewhere over here. And everything less than 71 is going to be shaded to the left, like that. Okay, so what I'm going to tell the graphics is I'm going to tell it that uh, the mean is still 66, the standard deviation is still 5, my upper value is 71. Now my lower value, this is kind of a little bit cheeky, but my lower value, I'm just going to give a really small negative number and just say negative 9999, just to say that, okay, it's going on there forever. Uh, just to be safe, I'll give it an extremely low negative value. Um, okay, so I clear all this stuff. Uh, my lower value, I'm going to say negative 9999, execute. My upper value, 71, 71, execute. These two are the same, standard deviation is still 5, and the mean is still 66. And I press execute, and I get my probability right here to four decimal places, 0 0.8413. Okay, and of course it does give me the two Z values. Uh, the lower Z value is an extremely small negative value, of course, because I gave it a negative 99. And the upper Z value is 1, which makes sense uh, because that's the standard deviation was 5, and that's 5 away from 66. So, of course, the Z value is 1 because the Z value tells you how many standard deviations it is from the mean. All right, let's keep on trucking. Okay, uh, last one here. Find the probability of an egg being more than 59 grams. Uh, let's draw a Z cur X curve there. Mean is still 66, of course. 
59 is going to be to the left of the mean there. 59, uh, more than 59 grams is going to be shaded to the right. All right, and the shading is just to help you out. Okay, my probability is going to be over 50% because more than 50% of the curve is shaded. Okay, so mean still 66, standard deviation still 5. Uh, lower value is 59. And my upper, just like the other one, but in reverse, instead of negative 999, I'm just going to give it a big positive value and give it four nines there. Okay, and so I, I go back to my menu. Uh, go back to lower, and instead of, I'm going to enter 59 for my lower value, 59 execute, my upper value, 9999, execute, these are the same, so execute, and I get a value of about 91% for the probability, to four decimal places, uh, 0.9192, and of course I have the two z values as well, of course that z value is going to be negative because it's below the mean, and my other z value is going to be really huge because I gave it 9999. Okay, so that's just how to do some of these with the graphics, and we'll do some more later on. Good luck.